Before drilling the holes for the screws, I am going to drill the holes for the wooden dowels, as close to the edge as the lower centering stops of the doweling jig allows. The dowels are 4 centimeters long. I adjusted the stop to drill holes of 3 centimeters. I drill one at each end of the panel. and another one in the center. If I insert the dowels before drilling the holes for the screws, we will see there's going to be a problem. All right. I could fit the jig onto the eight millimeter dowel and drill the six millimeter hole wherever it lines up. Then, I would use those same 8mm dowels as a guide to drill the 6mm hole in the other panel. But I'll do it differently. These are the typical screws used to assemble melamine chipboard furniture. They are usually Allen head screws, but these are Phillips. My trick. I cut a 6mm dowel in half. I drill a hole in it. and insert a screw. I do this because if I insert the dowel directly into the hole, I'd later have to remove it, and we all know they are hard to remove. There I have both pieces. Let's go ahead and make the removable joint with screws. Let's suppose I did not insert the wooden dowels. Yes, I had to remove them. And these are the marks where I want to place the screws. I don't want the screws too close to the center, nor too close to the ends of the panel. I measure how far the screw needs to go into the edge grain. And I adjusted the drill bit stop to make slightly deeper holes. I'm going to use the 6mm hole. And the hole depth is just how much the drill bit sticks out below the jig, of course. Yes, looking through the hole you can see the mark clearly. Now I insert both half dowels with the screw. This one ended up a bit low. Let me raise it a little. They should be tight but easy to remove. Now they help me align the jig's hole. For anyone unfamiliar with this doweling jig, each side has markings and they're aligned with the center of the holes. I place the panel on top of a sacrificial board, and I adjust the drill bit stop to reach the sacrificial board, but not drill through it. With the edges of the panels aligned and everything held firmly, I fit the jig onto the dowel, align the jig's markings with the line on the panel, which is of course where I want to make the joint and I drill a hole that goes through the panel. Before I start drilling, so it doesn't slip, I press the drill bit tip slightly into the wood. Look how easily they come out. Yes, the panel moved, but I put it back in place. Now I drill the holes for the dowels, with the stop adjusted to drill one centimeter and a couple of millimeters. Here we don't have a line on the right side of the jig. I align the mark on the left side and try to keep the front parallel with the top panel.
and those are the holes to insert the screws. They go in a bit tight in the chipboard, but they do go in. The screw head doesn't sit flush with the surface. But, hey, there are simple plastic cover caps to hide them. Or maybe we could make a small chamfer or recess to level it. It is important not to over-tighten them, because the chipboard around the hole compresses easily and loses the thread the screw made in the wood. Look at that! Nice and sturdy. Now I know how to make a piece of furniture that can be disassembled. Thanks for watching the video, and if you liked it, subscribe and hit the bell.